Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Patches Metal. One, two, three, four. Since there are a lot of things to talk about in this episode, I'm just going to briefly mention my hair. Namely, I cut it off. And the reason for this is not that I disliked having long hair or anything of the sort, it's just that I knew, I, I've known for a very long time that I wanted to try this out again. And my hair grows stupidly fast. Like, um, I shaved it off, the last time I shaved it off was probably around May, and well, it's, it's grown this length since May. So, probably, you know, next by the end of next summer I'm going to have hair till somewhere down here again. So I, you know, just decided, fuck it, let's try it out. You know, the sooner I do it, the sooner I have the long hair back. And, to be perfectly honest, I'm quite happy with the result. So, I do realize I'm going to have to face the wrath of every one of you guys. So, just leave it in the comments below. Tell me how shitty you think my hair looks right now. Or maybe if you're one of those few people who like it as well, then please, please do tell me as well. Because over the over the past few days, the most things I've been hearing were, dude, you're a fucking faggot. So, yeah. Now onto the more important part of this episode, which is going to be about um, an article featured on metalsocks.net. Probably a lot of you guys already know metalsocks.net. It's basically a website with, well, metal news, of course, um, but also very critical views on metal in a, you know, in a positive way. But um, yeah, they always seem to trigger, you know, things to think about, things to talk about, etc. So the article released last Friday was... Why are metalheads hopelessly stuck in the past? Question mark, question mark, question mark, sad smiley face. Which is um, a pretty, you know, solid question as it is. Why are we stuck in the past? Because let's be honest, a lot of us are stuck in the past. And it's pretty much a rhetorical question since it already gets answered in um the article itself and the probably the best thing to do before you're going to um, watch that ep this episode any further is to read it it's going to be in the description below so just pause the video read the entire article and then I'm going to talk about it a bit more in depth so if you've read the article by now you probably know they raise a lot of very decent points for instance the examples of death fest and metal camp and um, well, probably if you look at Wacken or Grasspop or things like that, you'll see the exact same things. And, and they're very fucking right. It's so goddamn stuck in the past. But then a very important thing is that those, those festivals and those metal fans in particular want to be stuck in the past. And it's not per se because stuck in the past sounds like it's a very negative thing. But they actually choose to, to, to like the old school sound a lot more than the new stuff being released these days because one of the things they do say and i want to quote this the metal scene is so creatively bankrupt that it hasn't really produced anything interesting since the 1980s um sorry since the 90s and it's it's you know it's saying things like that that makes you be stuck in the past and i can really you know appreciate people thinking like that like nah New stuff is so fucking shitty and there's no creativity anymore. So everything later than 1990s sucks. Alright. All is fair. That's your opinion. And uh, in a lot of ways I share this opinion a bit. Not completely. But I really do realize that, that you know people think like that. And it's very understandable. But the metal scene has never never ever been creatively bankrupt there has been so much so much new shit released over the past years and actually i would go as far as to say that metal on its own you know the entire genre of metal is the most fucking creative thing ever just for shits and giggles, I looked up a list of known sub-genres of metal. And I know this list isn't even complete by far. 
and it's a goddamn Wikipedia list, but I'm just not going to try to do it off the top of my mind. So, you know, just bear with me for a moment. There is funk metal, new metal, rap metal, well, alternative metal, which is kind of all of those things, but hey, black metal, viking metal, war metal, cello metal, christian metal, unblack metal, which is kind of the same thing, but hey, let's give it a shot, crust metal, dark metal, death metal, death and roll, melodic death metal, technical death metal, doom metal, death doom, drone metal, sludge metal, experimental metal, extreme metal, folk metal, celtic metal, medieval metal, Pagan metal, glam metal, gothic metal, grindcore, death grind, core grind, porno grind, industrial metal, Latin metal, metalcore, melodic metalcore, deathcore, mathcore, Nintendo core, neoclassical metal, post metal, power metal, progressive metal, gents, speed metal, stoner rock, which is apparently metal, symphonic metal, thrash metal, crossover thrash, groove metal, Teutonic thrash metal, traditional heavy metal. And, you know, this is where this list ends, but I know that list goes on for a pretty long time. And um, the point I'm trying to make, I know a lot of these genres were bullshit, but, you know, it's just, it's just to give the example. Metal is one of the only genres where actually the bands keep trying to be, to be inventive. You know, if you look at, uh, for instance, rap or um, hip-hop or a lot of pop because I know pop is very diverse as well but um, there is this sort of formula and it's a success formula and every single band and artist really exploits this to the point where it all sounds very much the same but if you take metal just metal on its own you can never say oh all metal sounds alike and this diversity in genre, even if it's genres that are so goddamn clones, for instance, melodic death metal and technical death metal, S someone outside of the metal community, or even people inside the metal community, will say, yeah, but it's pretty much the same thing. And Jesus, by fuck is it not. Everyone who, who's an actual fan of either melodic death metal or technical death metal will know that it's a goddamn world of difference and reading this list fucking cello metal i didn't even know cello metal existed but apparently it's metal where there's an uh, well cello of course or a violin or any other uh how do you call this well in dutch it's strike instrument but you'll probably know what i mean um <laughs> well that's one of the leading instruments and taking another genre that would be fucking weird but even inside the metal community this is just like oh yeah they have a violin cool what else is new and um you know the, the the evolution of metal on its own i've already talked about this a bit in the in the history uh lessons of patches metal um metal always tries to come up with something new and look at bands like um nowadays stuff like the browning for instance fucking dubstep techno kind of metal i don't even know what the genre is officially called but i think it's fucking shitty i'll be really honest in that i think it's it fucking sucks but i know there are so many metal fans and so many dubstep fans even who think like that's fucking crazy and it's fucking awesome and it's uh, you know they played here in Harlem a while ago and it was fucking crowded and um, they played for like 45 minutes and everyone was like dude you have to play longer and oh man please go on and stuff and you know th this actually defines for me the metal scene where um, everyone tries to, to appreciate new stuff as well and I know that half of us are really conservative and the elitists and the true metalheads how they call themselves um, they uh, they think metal really died during the 80s, 90s kind of period. Where just, you know, the original metal, yeah, that's fucking awesome. Everything after that, no, it's not real metal. Or claims like the metal scene is so creatively bankrupt. It hasn't really produced anything interesting since the 90s. I'm sorry, all respect to, to metalsucks.net, but fuck you. You suck. However, I'm also aware that MetalSucks.net always tries to get, you know, this kind of reaction out of people and this type of debate going because uh, th they want people to start thinking a bit more about what bands are actually doing nowadays and what metal is actually doing nowadays. And in my very honest opinion, I think no genre ever can be as creative as metal has been for the past 
Well, actually, since it, ever since it started. And that never stopped. Like, for example, uh, they say obituary, cynic and suffocation. Uh, what they did 20, 25 years ago. This was groundbreaking shit. And the stuff, uh, the, 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 the new Scandi Scandinavian black metal uh, guys were doing. That was groundbreaking shit. And my reaction to that is that stuff that the Browning is doing. For instance, I don't know if they were the first band in that kind of genre because I haven't really read into it. But whoever started that whole dubstep and techno metal combination, they're doing groundbreaking shit just as easily. So in conclusion to all of this, I would say that the problem isn't really with the metal bands themselves, but more with the metal fans themselves. You know, bands are really trying, trying to be inventive, trying to come up with new shit. Um, look at, you know, the, the, the experimental bands. They're always trying to, let's combine, you know, jazz with metal, classical with metal, um, etc. And I know it's been done in the past. I know it's been done a lot in the past already and before the 1990s. Yeah, sure. But they're trying to do new stuff with it. And the biggest problem right now is that the metal fans themselves cannot really um, get into it. They, they cannot really accept it as being a new part of metal. And this is where that entire poser versus true things come back into the, comes back into the picture again. Which I personally still think is the suckiest debate since fucking forever. But let's, let's, start, a let's start looking a little bit less at what the fuck our band's doing and more at... Are we actually appreciating it for what it is? I know a lot of people really easily conclude um, that indeed metal has, you know, hasn't really produced anything new since the 1990s. And I really do understand this, um, th this way of thinking, but it's just not fucking true. However, I'm going to have to leave it at this for this episode, mainly because I'm quite running out of time. Um... I'm going to try to film a lot more in the future, but right now, and for the past, let's say, month, month and a half, it's been really fucking busy. I've been really fucking busy, I mean. Uh, mostly with schoolwork, with um, my job, with state of negation, um, a lot of work there as well. Mainly because um, we've decided, well, the guitarist and us together decided that it was best if he left the band because there were too many... Um, issues you know going on and it's absolutely not because he's you know not an awesome guy or anything because he really is and um all the respect in the world to him but there were just you know some some issues sorry some issues with the band um which made us all together decide that this was going to be best so yeah looking for a new guitarist right now already have a lot of awesome candidates and maybe any of you want to try as well so if you live you know anywhere close to Harlem and you are a guitarist and you are fucking great at playing guitar then just drop us a message on Facebook or drop me a message or whatever and uh, yeah that so um, yeah going to try to film more in the future uh, one thing I am going to need is some suggestions for um, subjects to talk about so if you know anything if you want to hear my opinion on anything or whatever Drop me a message. If I get a lot of messages, I will make a new Q&A video. Uh, but that's probably going to be uh, somewhere at the start of 2014. And um, yeah, this is pretty much it for this episode. I'm just going to see you all next time again. One, two, three, four!